So I've often said I'm not really sure that I buy the dichotomy of free will versus determinism. Um, and to me, a great deal seems to be determined in this universe, or at least beyond my control. Epictetus again, I guess. Um, but it, an awful lot of it does at least look like it's in my control. And any sort of way to take sides in this inevitably strikes me as a matter of faith. Um, but necessity kind of comes to the rescue here, in kind of, at least from my perspective, untangling this. Necessity is simply the facts of where you are at any given moment. That's just the way things are. Um, I often like to use the way that the Bhagavad Gita, the Hindu Bible, quote unquote, works um, in describing necessity, where Krishna says to Arjuna, the battle is going to start, you're stuck with this, deal with it. It's not that it was determined, it simply is. This is us at every instant, every snapshot of our entire existence, we're faced with this, with necessity, and with the inescapable, I wouldn't say duty, but the inescapable reality that we must choose. We must choose how we deal with necessity. Um, that kind of, as I say, synthesizes almost will, not necessarily a free will, but will, and what is the bare facts of everything. What are the bare facts of everything? What is versus what I want? Um, <clears throat> it strikes me that if anything is necessary, then solipsism, of the pure solipsistic sort of conception of it, <laughs> um, there's a tautology, right? Um, if, there, if anything is necessary, then solipsism has been thereby transcended, because not everything is internal. Um, even, if I, even if I do have it in my control, but I don't understand that I do, it's still necessary. It's effectively beyond my control, even if I simply, it's only beyond my control because I don't understand it. That doesn't alter the fact that it's still not under my control. Um, if anything is necessary, then solipsism is an incomplete epistemological position. Now, that I guess is what I spent 25 minutes yesterday trying to describe. Um, but it's a sort of point of departure in, in terms of epistemology where you really have to sort of chew on it for a while uh, to understand what what necessity really implies in terms of solipsism, which is the number one criticism I always get because my, my epistemology begins at the internal as opposed to the external. <clears throat> if anything is necessary then solipsism is incomplete. Um, the old one, actually, I think he and I are on the same page on this. We, just, we exchanged comments yesterday. And I think I understand what he's saying, and I think that, in a certain way, we're saying the same thing. Since I can't just sort of zap myself into being the possessor, possessor of a billion dollars, just like that, obviously there are things in the universe that are beyond my control. Therefore, necessity is unavoidable. Therefore, there's more here than just me and my thoughts. Um, it doesn't seem to really be that much more, any more complicated than that, but sort of wrapping your head around it all um, in terms of the implications is an interesting task.